Wow, they did no ban. That's gangster. Map two. I hope that gives you the link to the bracket. I don't know if it does or not. Mm-mm-mm. What the people want? Generator constructed. We're going leader first again. Three, Armory constructed. Let's get some supply. Double leader first there. again. It's gonna be an arbiter and a forge this time. Both leaders start off with a gen first on Mirage. I think they're gonna try to go snipe. No, leader. Supply pad constructed. Supply pad upgrade grabbing. complete. Sorry, Johnson driving the mini across the map, leaving the middle open. Yellow has not grabbed Marines under air Dark assault. Blue did not scout it. I don't know if I'd go forge leader first. What are you gonna Marines do with that? Fire from enemy air units. Do you read? Of all the leaders that could die, T1 for forge. Action. You know what I mean? We're getting hit from above! We're going to the far corner of the map here, don't know why. Generator upgrade complete. We need supplies. Get some supply pads down there. I'm being engaged by enemy infantry! Upgrade complete. Taking fire from the ground. Over. I'm under attack from ground troops. Supply pack constructed. So this starts looking a lot better for them, I think, here. He's about to lose his um, Arbiter, but I think he'll keep it alive. They're taking the gen out. The Arbiter will stay alive. He's putting the forge in the way to take the shots. Oh my god! Oh, so smart to put that um, the mines down to save it. Good play. Good play by Stormy. Now, the Johnson has taken both the minis. They don't have a mini at all to split between them. Was Is that worth the generator? Um, losing the entire map. Power when he could just rebuild two generators like he's doing to make up for it. 
you've now lost, you know, the nodes here. Well, you have one. We have two, actually. Okay. It was smart for them to get the nodes. So stun coming down on the Forge Hog here. Worst liability I've ever seen. This Forge might go down. Oh no, it's Ardo targeting. Yeah, that Forge is toast. Back on foot. Augmented extractor upgrade complete. Huge, huge fucking loss. Is he gonna build it again? Yes, he is. That that Forge should have stayed alive. I mean, losing it in the first five minutes, not even. Fucking brutal. I'll throw your T2 back at least two I'm minutes. I'm being distracted by sniper fire. So, test, you know, smartly made snipers to just lock down this middle, forcing red team just to be back towards their mains. I mean, blue team's just going to take this full map. Mini base complete. You know, Tess has now got an upgraded gen. Um, let's see how he's doing on power. So he's coming in, you know, at a good speed. What's worse, losing your leader off the bat or losing the gen? This song is just gonna get chewed apart. As the blue team tries to get up the leader. Forge back out on the field. Believe Johnson still has a bunker. Here it comes. Instead of stunning the units, he gets in the bunker full health. That could have been a unit stun. I think it might have been an attempt for me. So. Got T2 out of Stormy who was going to upgrade his leader right away. Just procking four grunts. Looks like just to stop to get the node capture, he gets it. Yellow team trouble. is on their back foot while Gordon tries constructed. to pump out hogs. Keep in mind, Amarante's T2, for and Tess is now getting T2. With 20 seconds out. We have. One garage, single pump and hogs. Our base is under attack. Raid camp constructed. We are being I don't know if it's because he can't afford forces. a double pump right now, or he's got other plans up his sleeve. As the first Mastodon arrives, up now the leader has the option to swap into that. Gets her Mastodons are flying up the field. <laughs> Just gonna camp outside of Stormy's base. Stormy, sneaky move here. Is this an elite drop? What's going on over here? So they see a fight. Supply pad upgrade complete. Going for the gen. Supply pad constructed. All Amaranthi really has to do is just pop out a night and get on that. That will be over with. 100 to battle, 200 to battle. The leader in some Macedons with some healers on the side. To be honest with you, that looks good. Here comes the Nightingale we talked about. Cloaking that generator us. one shot. Our base is under attack. Oh looks like they're pulling back to under attack either from place some defense or Forty's base. They can't. I can't tell where they're gonna do. Second cloak comes down too late. Jen is gone. Followed up by a could have been a nightingale kill. Mantis deployed, sir. But it is all units to Cordy's expansion here. He's getting up his first turret. We are still single pumping hogs. They picked on the wrong man. Surprisingly, this turned into a game. Nodes are strongly favored for blue. Mantis on the field. Supply pad upgrade complete. Our base is under attack. 
chewing down Corey's expansion as he sends down not enough to defend. I don't know what Cordy is planning on to do with his army. Anti-air in the back to deal with the gale is not going to be enough, I don't think. Anti-air is getting targeted. Anti-air turret up. Let's try to deal with these hogs. MP Mac taking down three units right off the bat. Leaving that four chalk stunned. The four chalk looks toast. Yeah. It's looking like a wrap from Cordy here who's got eight pop and not even building. Our base is under attack. Let's see what uh, Stormy's enemy is looking like. Constructed. Looks like he was just leader powered or something. Because his units were pretty hurt. Cordy's base is going down. Armory constructed. Yo, no units right, train some trouble. more has crossed your screen. That's usually a sign where you're Our fucked. Base is under attack. Turret upgraded. Turret constructed. This is looking like a 2-0 sweep. Not even yellow can Our base defend, is under or attack. I'm sorry, complete an attack. I think Amarante here is just gonna clean up these turrets. Oh, that is that game and match. We'll go to Tess and Amarante, finishing just shy under 11 minutes. Both games not even last in 15 minutes. Woof! Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 